players <laughs> that have their Cena Cider and uh, sort of just rocking that, uh, that code. But, yo, the lighting on this is providing some very interesting color distortion to the uh, to the, the players. So I'm already down for this. It's, it just it feels cold. It feels frosty. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ganymede on the Team Liquid Map Contest number five. We are spawning in the northern location here with Evil Genius's blue Terran player Xenocider. In the bottom position, how's the red Zerg? Sort of. So I like these little lights around the command, uh, the uh, the hatchery and the command center. What the hell? Because they have to do with the, the map location thing, right? Yeah, you yeah, know. I'm look. I'm listening on how to say the name of the map. Oh, okay. Well, while you do that, a quick little tour. Hopefully, I can click on things this time. Godnidus. What? Yeah. Godnidus. Where does the S come from? I don't know. That's what it says. Well, I'm fine with God pronouncing it wrong because we always try to make it our thing. That's like Van Greek. Van I, for example. Godnidus sounds really cool. I like Greek words. Well, we do have a little bit of a reaper uh, cliff on both sides for this, so definitely a way to get into the main. Uh, natural base looks pretty standard. Third's kind of cool. You can wall off over here, but they've got the southern ramp to worry about. I love that, by the way, they've labeled these bases, too, like where you should be expanding. I really want people to be like, no, if you. I'm taking this as my third. <laughs> Stupid fours, oh. get out of my face. It's because it's two different things. Damn it. Google, you fail me. Oh, this is kind of a cool base up here to the north. Hella choked in, though. This kind of reminds you a lot of that Ooh. third uh, on Akalon Wastes that you could take. I mean, it's way past a third. This would be like a fifth or fourth, but... Uh, Some people took it as a fourth. Well, I'm just saying this is kind of cool. It reminds you a lot of the same. But there are rocks to get into it, so it's not initially just this choke. Um, but this reminds this me a little bit... You know, we're talking about Polar Night. This reminds me a lot of Neo Planet S, actually, with those corner bases. Oh, just the one yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, Neo Planet S. Oh, then I was on Hogget, though. We didn't realize the Innocent was being a dick this game, so we were looking at the map. But how? What do you mean, but how? Wait, was that a barracks? I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, he a... just got his racks picked off. Yeah, <laughs> he had gas taken and everything. I was like, what the f? No, he's looking, it out there? he was looking for the Rippers. <laughs> I was so confused. All right, so. Okay, he just throws the command center down in his main. He doesn't bother walling off. Always a good move. I'm really curious about this watch tower in the middle, though. This, again, feels like a watch tower that might not actually influence too much of the game. I really wish these right. were destructible rocks. This would be so cool. I played, like, ten seconds on this map, and uh, I was like, this Alnaga is weird. Yeah, I guess, I mean, you'll see attacks that might come across the map immediately. So this would be good to hold on to if you're worried about early rushes from, say, Lings, right? You know, ZVZ, you put a drone here, a Ling here, whatever. Uh, you would see those links coming pretty quick, but at the same time, your overlord should be able to cover it. There looks to be, I want to say this is one of those overlord nooks. Yeah. To see the natural, so maybe. Um, this one here might even serve as the same purpose, too. Anyway, so a couple links are coming. Xenosaur's not fully walled off yet, because uh, went for the CC after canceling the, uh, the barracks. Yes, I was quite worried that this was six links. It is only four, and with the marine popping out and good SCV control, he might not even lose a single SCV. That's the dream. Oh, hey, I got a really nice donation here. Uh, Fritos says, this is just for you, Rifkin. No tournament money, just for you. Buy something for yourself for once. It's a $30 donation. But what if I want to buy something for a tournament? It's for, that is what's for me, guys. No, seriously, Fritos, thank you very much. This is uh, quite nice of you. And the message is definitely appreciated. And uh, also, a small shout-out to Durandor. Sorry if I'm saying that name wrong. Just subbed to the channel at the same time. So welcome, welcome. And not underscore instant. Back to back subs. If we had a combo, this would be a two man combo. Well, getting a cancel on that reactor or a kill. Yeah, I can tell. Just that was cancel. quite big. Okay. Pretty sure. Uh, still no command on the low ground either is also kind of big. We have a bailing bust on our way. Hmm. And a third CC. Ah. Uh, Cider, <laughs> you are one bold son of a gun. One dead son of a gun if he doesn't get a wall off. Yeah, this is. Well, it's not just the wall off, but he needs Hellion. So, I mean, that's why he's floating the factory right here and it looks a little bit goofy, but. You know what's uh, funny? Without, with not having a wall off, he might be okay with Hellions. Like, as long as the Hellions can kite, they do good work against a Banley Bust. This is true enough, but. Well, if, he, if he transfers any amount of SCDs down here, they're pretty <laughs> much going to be lost souls. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's it's probably gonna be like game over either way. Cause even if the Hellions are are kiting the links, the Banelings get split off, and 
there's going to be so many banelings without having to crash in any supply depots that they're going to run in to the SCV line. Like, this is not good. He's building two supply depots, but God forbid they're at the front. Right? God forbid. This is like the second wall. He's like, all right, I know the front's going to get lost anyway. So what I'll do is I'll build over here so they can't just run straight <laughs> to my mineral line. Oh, if he could get that cloak Banshee uh, out, or it doesn't matter. I don't know. It's, it's, Banshee it, out. it's hard, though, because the Banshee's only really going to be effective versus the Bailings here, right? It's not going to be so good versus the Lings. It's something. <laughs> it's something. <laughs> All right, well, the Lings are getting taken care of, as you say, kite around, but he's kind of forgotten about the Bailings in the process, and no splits from those SCVs until it's a little bit late. Uh, could leave an SCV behind or two to the whole position! Oh! Supply Depot could have taken out so many of these Bailings. Yes. Now, it's very disappointing. It surrounds the ones that are coming in. Uh, it's still a bit of trouble. Still no wall off. More Hellions on the way. We're not quite here yet. Same with the Banshee. But uh, Xenocider, as crazy it is to consider, guys, he is on three CCs. Uh, damage can still be taken pretty heavily before he really is unrecoverable. <laughs> He's trying to use that supply depot wall as an actual supply depot wall. Oh, it doesn't quite work out. Oh, the Hellions actually find a nice choke in it. If we're for that pesky Baneling. <laughs> That actually worked out not horribly. Uh, however, he's out of Hellions is the problem, and despite the fact that he is on three command centers, this one Banshee is all he has to hold on with. I mean, move the racks over, try and get some deepers down, I don't know, anything. This Use a third CC as part of a horrible wall. I don't know, but Xenocider is almost out of this game with five dead. workers barely remaining. He's dead. One worker, zero workers. Oh, probably typical noob 1914 sub 2. Sorry if I missed that, but... Uh, GG is called, and sort of, ladies and gentlemen, will take the series 2-1.